and welcome into To Your Health. You know, you're going to go to the doctor for a visit, and a lot of times you go in there and just sit back and you think the doctor is going to ask all the questions of you. What you need to do when you go see your doctor is already have a list of things you want to ask him because only know you know how your body is feeling and how it's reacting to different things that you're doing. So don't be ashamed. It's a visit. It's a dialogue, not just a monologue listening to the doctor. And to help us get through that today, we're with us Jamie Myrick, and you are the manager of cardiac and intensive care cardiology at Baptist South. Correct. And thank you for being with us all these weeks. And there are some things we need to do going in to see the doctor. And then later in the show, we're going to find out about three kinds of maybe things we should avoid to keep this heart healthy. Absolutely. When you go see your doctor, that's a chance for you to address any issues that you're having. A lot of us will put off visiting the doctor until there's something really going on, but it's very important that you go see your doctor regularly and, and get regular routine checkups. When you go in to see your physician, there are some things that you can ask him or her and to help identify your risks and, and things you might need to change, such as what is my risk for heart disease? What are my cholesterol levels? What is my blood pressure? What is my blood sugar? Is there any other type of screening tests that I need that I have not gotten yet? Um, you can also talk to them about a heart healthy diet and exercise. Always talk to your card or your physician before you start any kind of exercise program, mm -hmm. but that's a good time to broach that subject and talk to them. Yeah, it's interesting because we've been doing a lot of stuff mm -hmm. with Leanne Richards for mm -hmm. Metro Fitness and that's exactly what she brings out. She said, yes, you do need to start exercising. However, everybody says it. Check with your physician beforehand because a lot of people start and they want to just, I want to be Superman tomorrow <laughs> and they can be plopped over tomorrow. <laughs> Right. That's right. right. Um, that's a very that's a very good point. Well, I yes. would like to again go back and say, you, most of almost all the insurance will cover your annual visit. Yes. The majority covers a semi-annual, and for those of you who are not seeing a doctor regularly, please do. Remember the old saying: an ounce of prevention is worth a pound of pain. And there's so much confusion now with the health insurance yes. and the new. It's very challenging, but you know what? Take care of yourself, and part of doing that is seeing your physician regularly. Mm -hmm. And you can actually find a physician on our baptistfirst.org. There is a physician okay. finder. If you don't know where to go and you don't have a physician and you would like a good starting point, mm -hmm. you can log on to our www.baptistfirst.org and go to physician finders okay. and they can match you up with physicians in the area. That's good to know because there, it's really difficult for, and for new right. people, you know, in the area, but the best thing you can do for yourself is get yourself a good doctor and okay. go. Okay, and I know you're not a nutritionist, but three things. Sugar, salt. Salt, definitely. Right. Salt is hidden in everything that we eat and everything yes. that we Read drink. Read the label. Absolutely. Yeah. If you think that you have this, if you think of salt as marbles and you have this many marbles for a day. Now, I don't know about you, but if I get a can of chicken noodle soup, yes. <laughs> I eat a can of chicken noodle soup, right? It's really two and a half servings. And in those two and a half right. servings, that's all your marbles for the whole day. My goodness. You can't have any more marbles. The one can of soup took wow. every bit of the salt you're allowed to have. And be sure when yep. you look at that can, do you realize, look at the servings per because they're giving you all the calories, all the, everything per serving, but just like you said, that may be two or two and a half servings in there, so take the calories if they're 150, it's now 300 calories. You also have to think about your hidden salts and all your condiments, ketchups, oh, yes. dressings, um, even sodas and Gatorade and things like that have salt in them. Mm -hmm. So if you're trying to follow a two gram sodium diet, you need to very much make sure that you're reading the labels. You know, and a lot of times the, 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 when you talk about the Gatorade, the reason that it's higher in salt, because when I was in the Air Force years ago in basic training, the, we actually, they gave us salt tablets to mm -hmm. take. And that's because we were doing a lot of heavy physical exercise and we sweat and you can deplete the sodium out of your system that way. And I think Gatorade, that's what they capitalize on. But so if you're active, you may be able to do it. But if you're not active, that's not the drink to have with lunch. Right. No. <coughs> of course, the best option to pick is ice water. Water. Yeah, yep. that, that's the best thing to pick. That's what's the most natural. Yes. If you do have to um, have something sweet, 
and especially if you're a diabetic, there are several alternatives. The stevia, is it stevia, 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 yep. stevia. Uh -huh. um, equal, sweet and low, mm -hmm. things like right. that that you can use to sweeten your beverages. Yep. So that's something when we talked about things that we can modify. Absolutely. One of the things that we can modify is our diet. Yes. Now what about fats, fatty, it, it, that's got to be damaging for the heart. It is, because fat builds up in your arteries and things like that. So you want to make sure that you avoid heavy creams, um, butter, margarine, shortening. Everybody remembers the lard, the cans of lard. <laughs> yeah. Oh, um, yo. <laughs> yes, yes. You want to pick things, canola oil, olive oil, any of the nut oils. I've seen almond oil out mm -hmm, there and right. things like that. You want to pick any of those to season your foods with or cook with. Okay. Yeah. And when you talk about risk factors, there's a reason that you fill out a history at a doctor's office. Yes. There are modifiable risk factors and non-modifiable right. risk factors. We can't do anything about our age, our gender, our um, genetics, our race. Those are things that you can't fix. But some things that you can fix, number one, smoking. If you smoke, quit. Um, smoking causes vasoconstriction, yes. makes your heart beat faster and harder, makes it work harder. Uh, your blood pressure, hypertension, if you are on blood pressure meds, be sure you're taking your medications appropriately. Um, diet and exercise, keep your cholesterol low, watch your weight, manage your diabetes, and try to lower your stress levels. Good. Well, thank you so much. You've been a gem, and we hope all of you have enjoyed Heart Month. It's the time that you need to be thinking about that heart, but more importantly, you need to be taking care of it. And we'll be right back right after this.